Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny Love with Jenny Love Journals. So today guys, we are going to do part two of our, um, I don't know, I don't even have a name for it. It's where I put all of my crafting items in a bowl and um, I pull five items out. Whichever five items I pull out, I have to utilize to create something so i i pull out five items regardless of what it is i have to wreck my brain and try and think of what i'm going to um, make out of those items so i'm going to show you what five items i pulled out for today's video and then i'm going to show you what i'm going to make out of those five items so the first one is this book that you're seeing right here this is a victorian posy and I believe I actually bought this at a secondhand store, a thrift store. Um, this book is actually scented. It's flower scented, which is really weird. But um, it's the reason why I say it's weird is because you can still smell the scent in there. Like it didn't, oops, it didn't really wear off, but it um, aged, I guess you can say. So it doesn't really smell like flowers per se. It just smells like um, like an old timey smell, but it's like a stronger than usual because it is a, um, a scented book. So this is the Penhaligon Scented Treasury in verse, of verse and prose. So I picked up this book because I thought it would be absolutely perfect for um, junk journaling and paper crafting. And I've already actually used a page out of that. But if you look, it's got a ton of super pretty um, pictures in here and, and just art paintings and stuff of different flowers and, and sceneries. And um, I just, I fell in love with this book the moment I picked it up and started looking through it. And I was like, yes, I have to have this book. I think I only paid like two, maybe three dollars for it or something. So this is the book that, um, oh, it's so pretty, um, that I pulled out of that I want, I would love to fussy cut all of that. Tell me that wouldn't be so pretty. Tedious indeed, but very pretty. Um, so yeah, this is one of the things that I pulled out of um, the bowl to, you know, see what we're going to be using today. So we're going to utilize some pages out of this book. Um, next, we have some buttons. Now, I have two containers of buttons here. I have big buttons. One of my hairs are in there. I don't know if that's my hair. My hair, I'm a brunette, and that was kind of a blonde hair, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, I have little buttons and medium size buttons and big buttons. I mean, all different colors, all different sizes, all different kinds. So we're going to be utilizing those. That is one of the things that were pulled out of the bowl. And you guys can hear my dog in the background. He always seems to be active when I'm filming. Um, but when I'm not doing anything, that's when he sleeps. So <laughs> um, the next thing, guys, we're going to utilize are these doily stickers. Now, I have real doilies and the doily stickers, but the doily stickers are what... Um, I actually pulled for today's project. So we're going to figure out what we can do with these that'll make our, our project really pretty today. I think these these doily stickers are absolutely gorgeous, honestly. Um, I wish they weren't kiss cut. I wish they were, you know, like a closer cut to the edge so that there wasn't any white around the outside. Um, but we can we can cut those down if need be. We might actually end up doing that. All right, so that's those. And next we have something that I actually pulled out of the bowl for last week's video when we used our five items that we pulled out last week um, in that video. And I ended up pulling the same one out again, but it's okay because it is with different, um, different items so that we can, you know, use it with, with something different. And this is our box of little teeny tiny um, papers. So we have all kinds of, we have like butterflies and we have some, some vintage papers. We have little labels, um, like, you know, flags, all kinds of stuff, guys. I mean, there's literally all kinds of 
little papers here that we can work with. I've either purchased, I have glue on my hands from earlier, so don't mind that. Um, I've either purchased these in like packs or they are like scraps that I cut, um, you know, and even though they were small, I just, I didn't throw them away. I just kind of threw them in this box because I don't, I don't like throwing anything away. Even the tiniest pieces, I just, it bugs me, you know? I mean, we spend money on these things and why throw any of it away? You know what I mean? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Actually, I know it's not just me. I know a lot of other crafters have that same issue. <laughs> not that it's an issue, but oh, I love that. I love that picture. That old-fashioned picture. I love that. So again, guys, all kinds of little papers in here that we can utilize in our project today. We used that one the last time. And lastly, we have these little Victorian buttons. Now, I know what I want to make today, um, you know, of utilizing like this book, for example, and stuff like that. But these buttons are sending me a little bit. I don't really um, know yet whoops, what I'm going to, what I'm going to do with these in this project. I'm sure that something will come to mind once we get going on the project. Look at the shoe. Oh my gosh, how adorable. So these are actually, these are vintage. These are vintage buttons. Um, I, this one I don't believe is. This isn't even a button. It's, it's flat. Um, is that a sticker? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That's not vintage, but these are um, these are vintage and then they have the um, the thing on the back where you can like hook a charm or something to that. So we're going to, or I'm sorry, a charm, a um, like a, a piece of wire or like a jump ring or something. I can't even think today, honestly. Um, but yeah, so that you can dangle these off of something or sew them onto something. Um Considering what kind of project we're going to be doing today, I don't know if we're going to sew it onto anything, but we might figure out a way to dangle them. So anyways, guys, let's utilize these five items that we have pulled out of the bowl today and get going on our project. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the basics of this project, which is this book. Again, you'll hear my dog walking around. He can't stay still. Um... <laughs> So we're going to utilize some pages in this book. And what we're going to make today, guys, are some coin envelopes. Um, I'm sure that you all are familiar with coin envelopes. They are a long, skinny envelope um, where the back is folded up and you have um, a little notch in the top so you can slide things, you know, down inside of them. Um, that's how I make my coin envelopes anyways. So we're going to make probably a couple of those today. So I want to look through here again and try and figure out which pages I want to utilize for something like that. Now these coin envelopes are going to be um, about as tall as, as the page. Um, I keep forgetting that I moved you guys down this way. You're not like so far up like you were yesterday and I keep trying to adjust like oh they can't see if I move it up but then I'm like wait no they're down here today. <laughs> so anyways we're, our coin envelopes are going to be around the length of the page a little a little less because we're going to trim off like these white bits here and stuff so I'm thinking I want to use this page um, on the back there's just some writing there's a little a little picture but that's okay because this part is going to be on the inside you won't really see this so let me tear this out okay so I'm thinking let's make three envelopes today so here's one page and hmm that's really nice too and then there's just some writing on the back. So we can utilize this page as well. And these are thick pages, guys. These aren't like that of your average um, book page. These are thick card stocky pages, which is excellent for what we're, what we're making today. Um, let's look for one more. Um, that's nice, right? Maybe we should go with that, maybe. 
that's on the back. But since this is a whole spread, we won't really be using this whole spread for anything. So it won't make a difference if we take this out. So, all right, let's utilize this one. Try and not, oh, did I, oh, okay, good. I, I don't want to rip past the white part because then we won't be able to use it. And I'm going into the other page because they're, they're stuck together. So I'm just going to cut it. I don't want to completely ruin the next page, even though I already sort of kind of did. Um, did I do too? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. I can, I can fix that. But okay, so those are the three that we're going to use today. We're going to make our three coin envelopes. So we got this page, this page, and this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the white edges off of these. So I hope everybody is doing okay today. I hope you're having a good week so far. Tomorrow, for me, tomorrow is Friday. Um, by the time you guys see this video, it might be Friday already. Um, I'm trying to get... Um, ahead of myself on recording some of these crafting videos because my mother is going to be coming down here to Florida from New York. Um, she'll be here in about a week and a half and she's going to be here for a couple of weeks. So instead of uh, filming videos because I'm going to have to, I'm going to be working anyways as far as actual crafting because I, you know, I have an Etsy store and I get lots of orders and stuff. So I'm, I'm always going to be crafting and working and creating die cuts and things like that while she's here. That can't be helped, but to actually sit down and make a video and then edit the video and all of that while she's here, I don't want to get, you know, take too much of our time together away from her. So, um, I'm trying to, uh, get ahead of myself on getting some, some videos filmed for you guys so that I will already have videos done and ready to go so that while she's here, I can just upload them. So that'll be good. That'll be a good thing because it's a win-win, right? Win-win. All right. Obviously, these coin envelopes are going to be um, different sizes. Like, this is going to be a small one, which is totally fine. And then these two, these are going to actually be the same size as each other. So let's, um, you know what, let's ink the edges of these before we actually start folding them up. And let me grab my ink. Um, I'm going to go with the Vintage Photo Ink. Uh, distress oxide because you know for me when I want to go for the you know the most vintage look possible that's that's the ink that I automatically go for I'm sure that a lot of you would agree with that and yes folks I did re-ink my ink pad as you can probably see <laughs> I don't know what was it like two videos ago I was my knuckles were white trying to press down as hard as I could to get the ink on the paper because my ink pad was drying up and uh <laughs> i said rest assured guys i will be re-inking my ink pad so that when i make another video it'll be all good um i made a video i put out a video on wednesday just this past wednesday which is the um oh dear what was that it was the envelope that we made with the corrugated board frame on it and that's actually a giveaway video um you have until tomorrow. Well, tomorrow your your when you'll be seeing this video Saturday, um, to watch and comment under that video so that you can have a chance to win the project that I made on that video. But anyways, I did have my ink pad re-inked even in that video. I just forgot to bring it up to you guys. So yeah. All right, so we have these three, and I want to start with the little one, I think, because um, I guess we'll call this our practice one. Even though I, I've made coin envelopes on several occasions before, um, you know, you just, you just never know. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around, and we are going to fold this in 
to about halfway. Bring this down. Hopefully you can see it. Yes, okay. Sorry, I had to look up at my camera. To about halfway. Okay, just, you know, eyeball it. You can measure it if you want to. That's totally up to you. I, I prefer to eyeball because measuring, in my opinion, just takes a little too long. So then we're going to fold this up to just cover a little bit of this edge. I'll show you what I mean here. To just cover just a little bit here to flap over the edge there. Okay, you see that this is going to be a really skinny coin envelope. You know what? Let me um let me bring it over a little less than it was so that we can see a little bit more of the picture that's on it. And then we'll go. Whoops, whoops. See it's giving me a little bit of a hard time here because I already burnished it. There we go. There we go. So now we can see a little bit more of the picture. We have a little crease here, but that's okay because we are going to embellish these. I'm also thinking about maybe putting some pockets on the outside of these and we'll see how um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, now what we're going to do guys is we're gonna take, let me, you know what, let me grab a smaller pair of scissors because these ones are a little too big for this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unfold it now. And we're just gonna take from the fold line to the end here, we're just gonna take off like a triangle, if you see what I mean. Let me um, bring this over here actually, and up this way. And then same over here, just. And go up this way and then up this way, okay? Because we want to eliminate a lot of the bulk that's here when you go to fold your end up. So we're gonna fold this up like this. Okay. So that you have that. And then we're gonna glue it down all right, first we're gonna glue, this overlaps this, so first we're gonna glue these down. We're just gonna put a little bit of glue right here on the edge because it doesn't overlap very far. So just a little bit. See that? Even, even though I did a very little bit, it still seeped out a tiny bit because um, It's, it's just, it just overlaps, you know, very little. And then we're gonna glue this down. Put a little bit of glue right here. There, and it's easy to fold over because we got, we eliminated a lot of the bulk at the bottom. Okay, so there's the back of that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to cut a notch in the top of this so that you can reach down to grab whatever it is that you put in here. Again, this is a very thin coin envelope, but that's, I mean, that's fine. You can fold up, um, you know, notes or even your, a journaling page, just a regular journaling page, and then fold it over like six times and, and tuck it in there. That is no big deal. Is this pull too big for this, I wonder? Maybe I should grab the next size down. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be, this one will work. Let me turn it this way so I can see where the line is. There we go. Let's ink over that. And let's put some ink on our folds here. Um, again, this is very thick paper, so inking the folds isn't going to make it tear because it's not, you know, the paper itself isn't thin. Okay, so there is one completed coin envelope, so now we're going to embellish this a bit. Um, 
so I'm thinking this this particular design um let's see what do we have here I'm not sure if maybe some buttons would look good uh, if we put like a few a few vintagey buttons that are around the same color that doesn't look too bad right that actually looks really cute and I'm also wondering if I take like this color doily and just like cut it in half so that it's on here and then put the buttons oh yes okay so that's what I'm, that's what we're gonna do that is what we're going to do like that let me cut the white out here bear with me guys so weather update for southwest florida here as always very very hot today i actually did go on my walk um i came back right before i started filming uh to do this project with you guys and my face was beet red i walked into the house and my daughter looked at me and she just gave me like this weird look and i i, I go what and she goes i told you it was hot out <laughs> I said, yeah, it is. It's definitely hot. It's uh, 90 degrees, I believe. It says, but the feels like temperature is like 93, 94, something like that. So, yeah, I didn't realize. I knew it was hot, but I didn't realize it was going to be that hot until I got about halfway through my walk and I was like, oh my God. This is pretty torturous. Okay, I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want it on this side or that side. I'm thinking that side. Okay, so again, this is a sticker. I'm just going to peel this if I can. There we go. And I'm going to turn it side whoop, whoop, sideways here just to make sure that I have it straight. There we go. There we go. And then we can glue our buttons on the doily here. How adorable is that? Oh my goodness, okay. Um, again, I'm not going to sew my buttons. I'm not going to sew some thread into the buttons because, um, you know, I don't want to make these videos too long. And not that it really takes a long time to do it, but when you're doing three buttons, you know. Now you'll see some glue. Obviously, there's some glue seeping out from under that button, but it's okay because the art glitter glue dries clear. So once it dries, you won't even see it really, which is a good thing. I'm going to put this one right underneath it, going from biggest to smallest. Is that okay? Yeah, I want to make sure I was glue on the right side. And you're probably like Jenny, if it's seeping out, why are you putting so much glue on it? Well, I'm not really putting a lot on it. But I also want to make sure that they stick down and they don't come up because they are, you know, a heavier item. It's not like it's paper, it's a button. Um, that is too cute. Now, what else do we want to do? Um, do we want to put like a little corner pocket right here, perhaps? I think that might look cute. So let's look through our, our little paper stash here and see what we can find that will look good to make a corner pocket. I don't want to make a pocket going across because I don't want to cover up the lady right there. So let's see, what do we got? What's this? This is a ticket, a London ticket. Um, nah, not feeling that one. This is a thicker. No, that doesn't really look that great with that. 
let's keep looking. Um, it was so funny, you guys. So last night, a lot of times when I pull out, you know, the five items and, you know, what to make with them, I, I say to my husband, will you help me brainstorm and try and figure out what I can make with these five items? So last night, we're sitting here and we're racking our brains and racking our brains with, with these items right here. And he was pulling all of my butterflies out of this box. And he was, like, putting them on a sheet of paper that already had butterflies that was in um our our book right here and I was like he was like you can just you know put these butterflies all over this page and I'm like okay that's pretty but what is it like <laughs> what are we making and he was like um butterflies on a page and I'm like yeah but what what is it like <laughs> is it a folder is it a pocket is it you know what is it and he's like I don't know and he just like kind of gave up <laughs> It was so funny. Um, so this morning, um, I was in the shower and I'm trying to think and think and think. And I was like, you know what? Those papers would be beautiful if I made some coin envelopes. So, you know, it depends on what you pull out. If you pull out, you know, some weird stuff like what I just did. And it's hard to think of what you want to make and then there's other things that you pull out and you have so many different ideas for them and you know it just it really depends um I don't know I, I kind of like this and we can ink the edges of that um and then it can be like a side pocket can't it's not really short enough to be a corner pocket and I'm not really sure if I want a corner pocket that small, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, I got some uh, tabs here, some wild tail tabs. Forgot that I had those. Um, yeah, because if I do something smaller for like a corner pocket, it's gonna be a really small pocket. Plus I already have a lady right there, so we don't need that lady. So I think I'm going to use this and use it as a little side pocket and I'll just ink the edges of that so that I can match it up with, uh, with the rust here. And you know what? I will grunge it up. I'll even run the ink over the top side of it. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, so we're just going to... Okay, so we're just gonna glue the bottom and the side. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the top and this side open. So let's do that. Just a very thin very thin bead of glue. I'm shaking and that's because I, I just got back from my walk not too long ago. That's why I'm shaking. All right. Seeping out just a little bit. I need to get, um, I've noticed some crafters use dried up baby wipes to wipe their, their excess glue. And I, I wanna get some because uh, it'll save my fingers from getting all gluey, that's for sure. Okay, so now we have, we have a pocket here, as you guys can see. So you can put anything in, in that pocket. Um, let's see, do we wanna put anything else on here? And we don't really wanna put anything on the back because we have the buttons on the front and if you go to slide this down into something or just put it in your journal, you don't want too much bulk. Um, but yeah, I think the back turned out really nice too. So let's see, do we need anything else? Let me just look. Oh, what's this? Oh. Can actually stick this onto that. That looks pretty good. We have a piece of 
book page. Oh, that looks good. We can glue that behind it. We won't tuck it. We'll just we'll just glue it. But I wonder if I have something that we can use to actually put down into that little pocket. Um, something like that, maybe. And it is blank on the back, so that you can write a little something on the back of that. Oh, oh, what about this? We can cut this down. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Let's cut that down. All right, so first let's glue down our little book page piece. Behind, behind our, um, our little tuck spot, our pocket there, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, this is not going to be something that we're tucking down into the pocket. We're actually gluing that down. Okay, and then I want to cut, fussy cut, this little guy. I'm sorry, little guy, I have to cut off your your legs. I'm trying not to cut off his antennas, but everything is just so tiny and thin. And we'll ink, ink him up after so that it doesn't have, you know, so much white. Yeah, that's not too bad. And it's a side view of a butterfly because he's he's flying. <laughs> All right. Let's just ink over the whole the whole butterfly. There we go. And let's get him glued down. Him or her. Don't know if it's a boy or a girl butterfly. <laughs> you guys out there are like, it's a piece of paper butterfly, Jenny. It's not like, <laughs> doesn't have a gender. <laughs> All right, there we go. That is so cute. And I'm thinking we'll use this um, to tuck down inside of our little tiny pocket. Turn it this way, like that. There. How adorable is that, guys? I think that came out nice. What do you guys think? And again, this is a coin envelope. And it does open. Let me just make sure with my bone folder. Yes, there we go. So you can put stuff down inside of there. You know, a long tag or um, just fold a piece of paper up and um, stick it down in there. Maybe a piece of paper that you're journaling on or, you know, a note or, you know, whatever whatever your heart's desire. All right, so let's start on our next one. And we're gonna do the same thing. So we're going to turn this over. It's so pretty, but it is what it is. So we're gonna turn this over and fold it to about almost halfway, but not quite, just almost. And then fold the other side to just very lightly overlap the edge. There we go. Again, these 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 pages are thick, so they're fighting me on on the fold here. Let's go up this way. This is a better way. We'll go up this way, like this. And then we'll cut on an angle like this. This is easier than making like six cuts. But like I said, I was doing that before because I wanted to eliminate the bulk. So to eliminate the bulk, we're going to just cut these away. 
There we go. All right, so now let's glue these together. Open it up. This is overlapping on here, so we'll just glue the edge, a very light bead of glue on the edge. I can't even begin to tell you or begin to explain to you how thick these pages are. I wouldn't even know how many pounds or GSMs uh, these pages are. They, they're thicker than your average cardstock paper, that's for sure. They're just very, very thick. Okay. Get these all glued down. Get glue all over my fingers. It's all good. Oh my gosh, how adorable. How adorable. I love that. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's cut. This is a, a little bit of a thicker one, so we'll use the, um, the larger circle punch here, and we'll cut our opening in there. And ink, ink down in there. Not that you really see it because this is a very dark green. Ink our little folds here. All right, beautiful. Let me make sure that we have this all open on the inside here. All right, there we go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, guys, uh, we're going to start embellishing this one. So let me think. There's not a whole lot that I really want to put on the front of it from here to here because I just love that scene. Um, so I'm just trying to think. Um, maybe if we can find like a little bird or something to glue here like in the sky um and these victorian charms might be perfect for something like this so that we can maybe cut a little hole up here and tie one in to have it dangling or hanging down oh that's nice it's a little large but it's nice um hmm. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's a smaller one. That's the same thing, but it's smaller. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that couldn't have worked out any perfect. So let's let's do that last. All right. I'm not sure, I don't think I wanna do a doily sticker again because we did one on the last one. So let's look in our box of goodies again and see if we can find a little bird to um, glue down up in the sky area. I know I got birds in here, but there's so much in here that it's like, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to find one. Here's one, but it's a little big. Um, yeah, that's a little too big. We have butterflies. The color doesn't really go again. Um, oh. There's a butterfly. That's actually really pretty. Let's keep that there just in case. I'm trying to go down to the bottom here, guys. Bear with me. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so who remembers these? Oh my, who remembers the bubblegum wrappers? So these aren't real bubblegum wrappers. These are actually just pieces of paper that came in... Um, a, a delivery of a bunch of little papers that I ordered and these were in there. And I thought, oh my God, time warp, like serious time warp. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Super bubble. <laughs> oh my goodness. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I remember chewing that. That was the gum that you would, um, you would you would start chewing it and literally like less than five minutes later 
the flavor would go away. It's like zebra stripe gum. Who remembers the zebra stripe gum? I think it's actually still out. Um, oh, that's pretty. I like that. We're going to do that, I think. The wings. And it's got like the little postage stuff on it, if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, the zebra stripe gum. Who, who remembers that or who's ever had that? Um, where literally the flavor goes away like less than five minutes after you start chewing it. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what I just realized? I pulled this up, right? I pulled this up and I realized that we forgot to glue that piece down on our other tag. How it stayed there while I was moving it around is beyond me. It blended in so well that I didn't even uh, see it enough to remember to glue it down. It looked like it was kind of part of it. And I lifted it up and showed you guys, tossed it to the side and everything and forgot to, <laughs> forgot to glue it down. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, I'm not seeing small enough birds or even really any birds for that matter. And I know that I have some birds in here. They're just hiding to try and find something that we can utilize. That looks nice. Maybe if we put it down here in the center. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Here's some more butterflies. Actually, I think that looks better. All right, so we're going to go with... Didn't we see this one as well? Which one is better? That one or this one? I'm going to say this one because, yes, it's got the pink in it, but if you notice, like, on her little wreath here and stuff, there's a little bit of pink, and the pink in the butterfly brings out the colors and, and the flowers that they're, that they're holding. So we're going to go with that. This is a thick, uh, a thick card. I wonder if we should make this a little pocket. And just glue like here and here. What do you guys think of that? Maybe? Let's try it. Just glue around to there like that. So you can tuck little things in up at the top. I've never really made a pocket that was round before like <laughs> I have to be honest I've never really uh done that I don't know how well it's gonna work but we'll find out here once it once it dries we'll get this little guy glued down now I do have birds Plenty and plenty of birds, but then I would be cheating because I wouldn't be utilizing, you know, what the, uh, you know, one of the five things that I, that I pulled out. So, all right, this little charm, I want to get my hole punch and punch a little hole up here in the corner so that I can, um, I'm thinking, uh, push the charm through there instead of having it dangle. So let me grab my hole punch. And hopefully this isn't going to be too large of a hole to um, push that piece through. So we want to come down here. And then this, like this, push that through. But then it's going to fall right out. So we might have to let it dangle even though that looks nice in that like that oh I have an idea I have an idea what if I glue around this so that tip it and I put this in here and just press it down there we go and again, some of that glue is seeping in through the holes in here, but um, it's okay because 
when it dries, it dries clear, so you won't you won't see it. Oh my goodness, how adorable. How adorable is that? Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not putting it too close. And then this is our little pocket. So what can we, um, we can stick something down in that, that little pocket, even though it's round. See that? That doesn't really look too good. And you're like, oh no, it's the box again. Oh, I have another one of these. Um, hmm. What about this little guy? Yeah. See, it's it's amazing what you can do with minimum things. Um, you know, I my my craft room, I my craft room is actually in my bedroom because I have a ginormous bedroom, but um I have so much craft stuff. Like, so, 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 so much. So much. I have no idea what to do with half of it. Like, so I can make pretty much anything under the sun. But when you put a, a challenge on it or a twist on it to where you only use a very few of all of the things that you have, um, you know, it's kind of, um, it's, it's challenging to make things out of very little. But it's possible, as you guys can see. Um, and the things that you can, that you can create and come up with in your own mind with those things is, is just amazing. Now, how adorable is that? And again, this is a coin envelope, guys. This thing does stick out a little bit, but not, not that much. Let me turn it sideways so you can see. It's not sticking out too awful much. So, um, yeah, I mean, once this dries, when you open this up, yes, this will come out of that hole in the back but it's glued down so it's not going to come out if you see what i mean if i had known that i was going to actually glue this in i wouldn't have done it through the back i would have put this on the inside and punched it but it's okay it's okay it's not that big of a deal actually it wouldn't have worked out because it would have been all bulky with this up against there so it would have to come through here to make this flat so we would have had to have done that anyways but yeah how adorable okay guys one more we're gonna do one more we're gonna do this one this one I love this pattern I think this one is gonna be my favorite so far so let's get started on this and fold up the back and then fold this over Okay, and then we're going to do what we did before, and how far up do I want to go? Um, we'll go up a little bit, like this much. We're going to get this folded up like that. Okay. Just cut these corners on the angle there, and then we'll cut off these flaps to eliminate the bulk. So that when we bring this up, oh, it's a little uneven. Let me push that over a little bit. So let's get this glued down. Again, just a thin bead. You don't want it to seep out that much, especially on the inside, because then your, your pocket will end up closing up on you, or your envelope, I should say. These are coin envelopes. And you won't be able to get anything down inside of them. We don't want that to happen. There we go. This is this part is a little crooked, but it's okay. It's no big deal. Alrighty. How pretty is that? Oh, I see. See how it's crooked right here? Oh, dear. It's okay. You know what? We can put a pocket that goes straight across down here to cover up the fact that that's on a little bit of an angle. So let's cut our our notch in here. There we go. Let's ink it up and ink our 
our sides. And on the back too, we wanna to make sure that we get it. There we go. All right, guys, so now the only thing we have left to do is embellish, embellish this one. Let me make sure I didn't glue anything shut on the inside here. No, oh, everything is good. Perfect. Um, okay, let's go back to our box of fun over here. <laughs> Since we, we are limited. Um, and let's find something to go across the bottom of here for a pocket. Um, oh, I found what? I found one of these doily things in here for some reason. You know, let me look through these really quick because like we can probably do the same thing with a doily on this as we did on the first one, but maybe minus, um, the buttons maybe. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea. If we just put this down on here, let me peel this. And stick this down. Hold on, let me redo that because I want to make sure that it's centered you know stick this down and then bring it up in the back so that you can't really see that little bit of a mess up that we did and then just put these off it doesn't look too bad it could be better, but it is what it is. It's because it's crooked down here. That's why. But it's okay. Because we can still find something to put right here. I mean, that... Mm, you know... I'm wondering if we actually just trim this. And then we'll glue it shut. Oh, it already is. Oh, no, hold on. Hold on. I mean, it is, but it isn't. So, see that? There's just a little, a little bit of an opening. So we'll just put some glue in there to close it up. There we go. Oh my God, so much better. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That was driving me bonkers. It really was. That was driving me nuts. That looks so much better. All right, now what can we put? Maybe some buttons again across the bottom here, perhaps. We got a white one. Um, oh, this is a, a pretty green. Got a green. And what else have we got? I have another one over here. And I want to kind of find this one that's the same size as those. But I'm trying to see if I can find like like a, a green. No, no, that's too small. Hmm. Do I have like a green in that size? All right, let me um. I'm sorry if my big head is getting in the way. Oh, what's this one? That's not bad. What do we got? Oh, that's too big. Too small. bit smaller than those ones not by too much but mm. okay 
Okay, let's go with um let's go with that one. And let's put those across the bottom here like that. I think that's cute. See, now it's obviously the embellishing part that takes the longest because you're doing everything on, uh, you know, like a whim. Let me do this end first so that I can make sure I put that in the center um, so they're not uneven. But, you know, it's, 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 you're doing everything on a whim. You don't, ooh, you don't really have things pre-planned with this type of project. And, um, this has a little bit of a roundness, roundness on the back, so that's going to take a little bit. Um, but that's what I think that's the part that takes the longest for this type of project is the embellishing because you, you don't know exactly what you're going to do going in. You're just kind of going with the flow. And yeah, oh my gosh, so adorable. What else do we want to put on this, on this one? Do we want to put something up here? Maybe we can find a word or something back in <laughs> back in our box of fun, guys. Maybe a number. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to find something small enough. We had a little cookie. <laughs> I think this cookie, I fussy cut it out of a background page from um, Angela Kerr's uh, Book Lover's Bliss, I believe. To see, now this would look really nice on this one because of the colors. Yeah. I think I like that. Maybe? No, you know what? Because I don't really want to cover up too much of the top. Um... Let me see. Again, going all the way down to the bottom. Special delivery. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. And then we can put a number under that. Okay, let's, yeah, let's do that. And this is obviously wider, so we'll just cut the edges off. Um, once we get it stuck down. I'm not even, I don't know why I'm even inking the ends because they're going to get cut off and then I'll just re-ink them um, once we get it on. So let's get this number here. We'll take the number four. I love numbers. Um, I love the, the vintage look that it gives projects when you put them on your project and I know a couple other crafters that love their numbers too they are just so pretty okay let's stick the special delivery down first what is the special delivery you might ask well these flowers of course um, always guys, as I say, there's two different things that I do with my projects that I make with you guys. Um, I either sell them in my Etsy store or I give them away in a giveaway, which I just started doing, um, yesterday's video or I'm sorry. Yes, it was yesterday for me, but Wednesday's video that I posted, um, that project is, um, to be given away. So these ones here, I'm actually probably going to sell these in my Etsy store. Um, but I'm going to sell them, you know, all, all three of them together instead of separately. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in purchasing these coin envelopes, head over to my Etsy store. The link is in the description below. Um, and it's obviously a first come first serve. So if you go to grab them and they're not there, then 
obviously someone had kind of beat you to the punch and purchased them, but, um, you know, don't worry because I'll be making a lot more different things that'll be going in my Etsy store and that'll be giving away during giveaways or you can follow along with me on this and make some of your own, um, which would be awesome too because if you do, I would love to see your creation. If you can just shoot me an email, take a picture of what you've made and email them to me, my email address, you will find that in my about section here on my YouTube channel. Just go to my main YouTube page and scroll over to where it says about. Click on that and you'll see my email address in there and I would love to see your projects. Again, you do not have to use everything that I use. You can use whatever you want or you can go with the same concept that I went with and pick you know a few things out of everything that you have to make it a little more challenging all right guys so here this one's the smallest so let's put this over here oh my gosh how adorable are these so freaking cute here let me zoom in so you guys can see them a little better there we go how stinking cute are these? And again, guys, these are coin envelopes. They do open up so that you can slide things down in them. Um, yes, they are skinny, but coin envelopes are known to be um, thin. They, there are some short, wider coin envelopes out there, but um, you know there are a lot of tall, skinny, thin ones as well. But I think these came out absolutely adorable. This is a little, this little round thing. We made this into a pocket, how cute. And then this little ticket, we made that into a pocket or a little side tuck, I should say. Um, you know, we fixed our mistake on the bottom here when it was crooked and <laughs> remedied that. So yeah, guys, these will be for sale in my Etsy shop. They're not gonna be very much because, um, you know, it didn't really take very much to make these, probably just a few dollars. So again, if you're interested in purchasing these, head on over to my Etsy store. The link is in the description below. Um, again, first come, first serve and also, again, if you decided to follow along and make some of these uh, with me, I would love to see them. Shoot me an email and um, let me see your creations. I might even show them on my community tab. We'll see what happens. Um, that's, of course, if you give me permission to do so. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. It helps more than you know. And, of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you next time. Take care, guys, and have a blessed week and a blessed weekend.